Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making a uh, mono tub, shotgun fruiting chamber, whatever you want to call it. I just made this up. Bunch of holes drilled all the way around with the micro tape on the top. Some uh, one and a half or one and three quarter inch holes all the way around with the micro pour tape on it and the liner already made. There's lots of videos out there on exactly how to make these. Maybe I'll make another one because my uh, last one well, wasn't the best. I think I cracked something along the way. This is much better and it's uh, much smaller, which I like. So everything is being sterilized or disinfectant, whatever you like. Um, so where are we going to start? I'll start with this. This is my four liter or one gallon approximately of cocoa core with uh, two heaping tablespoons. Of gypsum and I do believe I put in a 250 milliliter jar of vermiculite with about a hundred or 150 milliliters of water I put in just a little bit extra water in this because as you see it's in uh, pyro ceramic dish so I put this in the microwave to pasteurize it I just find it uh, so much easier to mix it up in there throw it in the microwave for uh, I think it was 15 minutes on high get it all nice and hot it's been sitting for uh, at least 10 hours now and I'm ready to go I have two two pound bags of colonized rye grains this one I've uh, already smashed it all up save some time I have a small mixing container which has also been sanitized I know this is really loud but that's the way it goes A little bit of substance in the video so I will break these up I've been using these uh, Seal mushroom bags made in Japan. These uh, smaller two to three bag pound bags have been okay, but my larger bags that are for five or six pound bags, the seam along the bottom has been breaking as the bags expand on the inside of the pressure cooker. So I'm not really happy with that. I'm going to have to uh, talk to the people at the supplier, see if anybody else has had any problems with them. Because I think uh, I bought about 200 of the larger bags and probably 25 of them or so have broken open. Just really disappointing to get everything all set and ready to go and find out there's a big rip in the seam after all that work and two and a half hours of sterilizing it and the arse oh I didn't tell you what kind of mushrooms these are these are famous 90 second 
Piapino mushrooms. My favorite. So what we're going to do is we will open our mixing container, grab our sterilized scissors. I've already sprayed down the bags and everything before I started the video. Maybe one day when I learn how to uh, use the editing software, I will make an absolute start to finish video. And that way everybody can have every single step. I just honestly have no idea how to uh, edit videos. And uh, I'm not going to put that on my learning curve right now. Learning how to build my own website and use all the editors is a pain in the ass enough. I should have just hired somebody. Probably would have been cheaper and less frustrating. I gotta get a garbage can. So, a little bit more. 70% ISO. Before I go digging in there. I'm just going to finish breaking up all these lumps. My grain has been colonizing just a little bit too long. And by what I mean by too long is about uh, three months. <laughs> so about uh, two months too long. But it looks good. I also had some uh, yellow oysters and... I don't know what else it was, but they've been sitting there also for three months. I put them in some sawdust substrate uh, yesterday. I can already see them growing in there. So the genetics are good. And I know for a fact that the genetics of my Piapinos are really, really good. So I don't have anything to worry about. And sorry, I'm going to shake this up if my uh, camera shakes. My apologies. I like to make sure that I'm not crushing the grains when I do this. Sometimes you get some bad effects if you break all the grains open. So we'll just lightly pull everything apart. Casing. Not that I really need it, but put it on there anyway. You know what? Maybe it won't. 
Piopinos don't need casing. Casings are sometimes an added vector for contamination. So, rather be safe than sorry. If worse comes to worse in a week or so, if this needs a casing, I can always make it up and put it on. Because as everybody that grows mushrooms knows, time does not exist. means that time is not of any essence. I'm not in a hurry at all. Growing piapinos is uh, well worth the wait. Looks like I'm going to have a bit too much for this container. We'll pack it in there. cocoa core pretty tightly. It's nice and spongy. The mycelium doesn't care. In case you're wondering, no, I'm not going to worry if this is perfectly flat. I'm not going to put any lines in it. I'm not going to get out my laser level. I'm just going to let it do its thing. A 
might trim the extra bit of liner. And that's it. So there you go. One tub ready to go. And I will uh, trim that off camera. Great. Thank you very much. If uh, you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, leave me a comment. I like answering those questions and uh, likes, subscriptions, and comments are good for that YouTube algorithm. Okay, awesome. Have a good one and thanks for joining me. Greatly appreciate it.